All right, let's welcome in now Virginia Congressman Rob Whitman. Now he's a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman, great to have you with us. Don, great to be with you. All right, so uh, your reaction to, to what Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have said, they're committed to pushing forward with this. Now, one of the things that might not actually help them get 10 votes in the Senate is if there's a guarantee that it does not drag into 2022. But do you think there are any provisions that could be added to this or any additional measures here that would actually make it uh, passable in the U.S. Senate? Well, John, I believe firmly that the incidents of January 6th should and are currently being investigated. There are investigations ongoing. I think that those should continue. Uh, there are investigations being done by law enforcement, by congressional committees, both House and Senate. In fact, $10 million committed to that. I think we need to let those efforts go forward. Uh, and you see the number of individuals that they've arrested, 445, with another 100 uh, yet to be arrested. I think that we should allow those things to continue because if this commission comes into existence, uh, it will it will definitely be a a political effort. And my concern is, is that will indeed interfere with the current investigations that are being undertaken by law enforcement. And, and we all know that those things can, uh, I think, hurt those investigations. I want to make sure we get, get to the root of this, but I want to make sure it doesn't get injected with politics. And, and to some extent, it will, even under the current circumstances. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, but, Congress, it's too late for that, right? I mean, this has already been injected with politics. And to your point, that started during the impeachment trial. You know, we talked about that Capitol Hill police letter, which has been debunked now. That, like so many other things during the impeachment trial of President Trump, the second one, you know, you, you, in a court of law, you can't hold up a news article and say this proves our point, that the, the Washington Post reports this. And that's what happens. That's what happened in the impeachment trial, and that's what's going to happen here. That's right. We, we want to make sure that this is done through the proper channel. That is through law enforcement. Let law enforcement go out, gather evidence, arrest individuals. Then they have their, their rightful day in court to prove their innocence. And that's the way the system should work instead of it being something that is now taken into the political realm. And as you've said, we've already seen what has happened with that in the past. Let's leave it up to committees uh, that can do this without turning it into such a political spectacle. And let's let law enforcement do their job without interfering with them, which I'm uh, uh, concerned that this commission would interfere with their efforts. Real quickly, I want to also ask you about Israel, something you tweeted this morning. <clears throat> Quote, it's real simple here, faced by constant threats. If you don't believe that Israel has a right to defend itself, then you don't believe Israel has a right to exist. You know, we hear from AOC, we hear from Bernie Sanders. They want to stop this arms sale, of this money transfer to Israel. The money goes directly to the Iron Dome, which has saved so many lives. I mean, I guess you could point this question to them directly. Do they believe that Israel has a right to exist? That's the fundamental question. Israel does have the right to exist. Israel does have the right to defend itself. And I think that's the fundamental question here. And another question is, John, the United States is a friend of Israel, and Israel's a friend of the United States. You don't ask a friend to let down their guard when they're being attacked. And I know folks say, well, what about the Palestinians? Well, listen, the Palestinians, I believe, unfortunately, are now being used by Hamas, who is being funded by Iran that looks to destabilize the area. So I want to make sure that Israel can, can protect itself. I understand the plight of the Palestinians, but I want to make sure, too, that we understand what this is all about. This is Iran injecting themselves to destabilize the area. Iran does not recognize Israel's right to exist. And I believe that this is uh, the root of what we're seeing unfolding before us now. We have to address the issue with Iran. And by the way, pursuing a flawed nuclear deal, again, with Iran is not the way to go about it. You need to put heavy pressure on Iran to get them to stop supplying Hamas with these missiles and make sure that we support Israel. Israel is a friend of the United States. Let's make sure that we support them. All right, Congressman, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. All right, well, up